hello and welcome to my channel my name is Eniola in today's video I will be showing you how to build a simple web app to demo your machine learning models using very few lines of code so if you like to learn more please keep on watching for today's demo we will be building a question answering app that uses a neural network to answer questions from Wikipedia articles for the web app we'll be building it using the streamlit library and for the model we'll be using the transformers library which provides thousands of pre-trained models that could be used for various downstream tasks so to get started i have my terminal open i also have a web browser open so one cool thing about streamlit is that we could easily visualize the ui of our web app while simultaneously building it so next i'll just go into the project folder which i created earlier on and i tied to demo qa app and then i will go on to activate my virtual environment so i'm just going to go on and install all our required packages And next, I would install the Transformers library. And the Transformers library requires us to have either PyTorch or TensorFlow installed. And so for this demo, I would be installing PyTorch. And finally, I would install the Wikipedia library. Okay. Perfect. So we have all our necessary packages installed. Uh, so the next thing I'll go ahead to do is to create my app script file. So I would come here and create a new file and I'll call that file app.py and save that. And then I'll just go ahead and import all of my installed libraries. So we would start off the web app by first of all creating the main app engine. So this just basically helps render the front end of our app using Streamlit and would also be making subsequent calls to the functions that we would implement later on. So to start off, I'm going to implement the title and description of our web application. And to create the title, we would use a streamlit function called title and then passing a string of the title we would like to call our web app. So I'll be calling our web app demo Wikipedia question answering. And then I'll save this. And so to run the script, I'm going to run streamlit run and the name of my Python script. And so a URL would come up and I'll just copy this and paste it into my browser. And so I see the title I just added in my script. So next I'll just go on and add the text description of the application and I'll be using the write function to do that so now passing the text argument for the description so once that's done I'll just save my file so next I'm going to go ahead and add a input slot where a user can type in the topic that they would like to search about and I'll be using the text input function and I will just pass in the text that I want to use as the header for that input and I would save this. So Streamly gives you the option to always up refresh the UI once you make a change to your code. So this is really cool, like I said earlier, because you can see the changes 
on your web app as you are making the changes in the code so next i'm going to add a input slot for the question so basically the user would be able to enter a topic query and search for that topic and also enter a question to get an answer for that topic so i will do the exact same thing and if i save this it automatically gets displayed in the ui um so yeah we have our search topic in text input and we have our question text input so next once a user enters a topic in the search box we want to be able to load the wikipedia summary of that topic and to do that i would be implementing a helper function and uh, i'll call this load wiki summary and as input i would take in a query string and as output i would also return a string which would be the summary of the query input and then i'll come back to my app engine and i would get the summary of the topic that the user inputs and so to display this topic i'm going to add a paragraph slot so that when we get the topic we want to display the summary um, blob as a paragraph so if i search for a topic let me search for greyhound dogs because i love greyhound dogs Oh, we also need to display. So we need to display the article summary in the paragraph that we just created. Perfect. So every time a user searches for a topic, we would get a summary article on that topic. So in this case, I search for Greyhound Dogs. So once we have our article summary, we want to perform um, question answering. So we're first going to check if we have a valid question query, if it's not an empty question. And so if we have a valid question, we want to load our question answering model using the transformers pipeline api so basically the transformers um, pipeline api is simply a inference object that wraps around a pre-trained model and so we can use that to call the model and make inference from that api so i'll just go ahead and i'll import the pipeline object And then I will implement a helper function to load the question answering model via the pipeline objects. And we would return a pipeline object. And so for input, we would pass in the task that we want to perform. So in this case, we'll be performing question answering. And the pre-trained model we'll be using is distilled breads based on case distilled squad. This is simply a smaller version of breads fine-tuned on the squad dataset. 
and it's not case sensitive so we're just going to just return this pipeline plan the next thing would be to answer the query question using uh, using our summary article and to do that I would also implement another helper function and I'll call that answer question so this basically would return the output of the pipeline model so as inputs we would pass in a pipeline object we would also pass in the question and then pass in a paragraph And the outputs would be a dictionary mapping of the answer, the start and end index, and the confidence score of the model. And then we would pass this input into our pipeline object, and then we would return the dictionary output. So I'll come back down here and get the results of the answered question. So we can save this and so if I go back to the UI and I ask a question say for example what speed do greyhounds run at so the app is running and we get the answer 64 kilometers per hour and that's it. You can see how easy it is to build a web app and deploy a model on it with very few lines of code. But currently our web app is just on our local computer. So if we would like to share it with um, other people outside of our local environment, we would have to deploy that app. And so to do that, it's also very simple. We would need to add our code to github and also add a requirements file which simply list the packages that we've used for our project so i'm just going to quit this and then i will be using pprex to get our requirements file If I come in here, I see all the packages we installed already added to the requirements file. And then I will go on GitHub and I would create a new repository. I will call it the same name that I called the demo project folder, which is demo QA app. And I will just make it public and I will create the repository. Perfect. And so once we've created our repo on GitHub, we would want to add our code to GitHub. So to do that, we will just, first of all, initialize our folder as a Git folder. Next, we want to add our script file and our requirements.txt file to our repository. So. We add the script file and then we also add our requirements file. So once we've added our files, we are going to commit and push to GitHub.
and so we'll just go back and copy our our repository address from github and then we push to master perfect so if you go back to github we would see that our two files are on github and we are almost done and so the last thing would be to add this repo to streamlit and so to do that we'll come to the streamlit website sign up if you don't already have an account but i do so i'm just going to sign in and then i'll click on new app i've already connected my github to my streamlit account and then i would click on this repo which i just added and my main file path i called it app the pie and I just click deploy and that's it so it's just going to take some time to deploy but once it's done we have our web app that we could share with others this is the URL to point to our app and so I'm just going to hide this and yeah so we have this app that runs outside of our local environment so if i search for greyhounds because i love greyhounds if i search for greyhounds again perfect and if i ask another question of a male greyhound I can also make this faster by adding um, stream it has a caching function that we could use to cache our models so that our web apps can run faster and so we can see that we get an answer 71 to 76 centimeters if I also ask what is the weight of a female greyhound We get the correct answer which is 24 to 34 kilograms so yeah that's it so i'll be leaving a link to the code on github in the description below um and but there's so so much more that we could do with streamly and transformer so i do encourage you to go through their various documentations if you want to learn more and if you do build something cool please leave a comment down below with a link to your app I would love to see your work and thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye.